have the fun at Molon Beach. I'm sure you didn't think setting up a stove could be such a challenge. Now my next guest needs no introduction. He's been working hard over the last couple of years to bring some light into Africa. Yeah, it's Akon. <laughs> Omega star. I'm so intimidated. Come what? On. Intimidated? No, you shouldn't be. No, let's be serious. Come on. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. I learned you love jollof rice. Yes. Cameroonian, Ghanaian, Nigerian. Senegalese. Is this Senegalese jollof rice? No. Se don't you know jollof rice come from Senegal? How do you not know that? I'm so surprised that nobody knows that. Oh, I just found out today. Thanks yeah, for teaching me something. Thank you. Gotta you. Know. <laughs> Your involvement in <laughs> Africa so far, you've been great in America no, in the music you. field. And yeah. coming from Senegal, I'm keen to understand why you're giving so much back to Africa. Um, I don't even look at it as giving back, actually. I just feel like I'm doing my part, you know? I think sometimes when great things are done in Africa, people always look at it as if Africa needs someone to do it. We're African, this is our responsibility. The same way Americans, Europeans are gonna do and invest in their home, we should do the same thing and when we do it, it shouldn't be looked like we're giving back. You know, the riches of Africa are not so much pronounced on the outside. Africa is mm. sometimes known to be a country yeah. and a very poor country as compared to the continent that we are. Mm. Now, you stepping back and putting your face to elevating poverty has to mean so much more to us than to you. Yeah, I mean, I think, um, I guess it all depends on the, how you see things or how you look at it but I think ultimately I think when people say that Africa is one of the poorest countries it's really the opposite yeah. you know because we're the ones providing for all the so-called rich companies or countries rather to become what and who they are today I just think that as Africans we need to educate ourselves to what resources we have and how Africans can benefit from it you know? and you know the system has kind of failed as a lot of people say that without you know those failures we could have been better people how do you think we the youths can kind of override that without focusing on the failures to make our lives better well the way I see it I don't think it's the system that failed us I think it's the people that failed us because the people make the system yes so we have to be the ones to create a system that works for us mm -hmm. you know and it may be selfish at the moment or it may be seem to be or looked at selfish, but that's the only way to get Africa moving. Like we have to reclaim what's ours, organize it, position each other, organize it a situation to where we understand, educate each other to what yeah. all this means and how we can, you know, utilize it to our benefit. And then we move forward. But I think it's gonna definitely be the generation, like you said, that's gonna be the one to take Africa to the next step. We just have to know what it is, our responsibilities and how to move forward with it. When you talk about generation, I can't help but pronounce that you walked mm. with a Cameroonian. I am Cameroonian. <laughs> <laughs> you work with a Cameroonian, Joe V, on Shine the Light. Mm -hmm. How was that collaboration? Oh man, I'm, it's funny because I'm, I'm still looking for him, you know? He Just tell me I'm looking Yeah, he, he, produced, he produced, a, he's your brother, really? Yeah. Really? Childhood brother, we grew up together. Yeah, so uh, for, uh, Fatima is one of our a &Rs for Convict. He actually is Cameroonian as well. Mm -hmm. And he was telling me about this amazing producer that he found in Cameroon. Yeah. He brought the beat to the studio and I fell in love with it immediately and wrote the song the same day. Within months, we shot the video moving forward. And I've been looking for him ever since to do I'm more work. You his number, right? Yeah, right. connect me with him ASAP because that kid, I mean, he, he has amazing talent. Why haven't you come to shoot a video in Cameroon? That video, I would have loved you to shoot that on camera. Yeah, honestly, now thinking about it, I think I'm gonna do more videos for Cameroon for sure. We're waiting for Aiken. Yeah, we have to. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a cool guy, I can't keep yeah. him much longer, but um, your positive energy is something no, that you. I really do admire. And I look forward to you doing greater stuff no, for you. Africa. Thank you. Um, the music scene, I can't leave you without asking about that. What's coming mm -hmm. up? Well, you know, now we're doing Convict Cartel, which is the more US based. Uh, refreshing uh, of comic music. Yeah. We have uh, 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 Trey Carter that comes out of it, OG Boo Dirty, um, newer artists, of course, um, Tone Tone out of Detroit, mm -hmm. and then Broadcast. Um, those are the four that we're promoting and moving now. And then we have Convict Culture, which is more of the African Caribbean. And coming out of that, we have DeMarco. Uh, he has a new record out now called Noala. Yeah. And then we have Sam Clef as well, um, who's actually outside on the other side now, yeah. um, out of Nigeria. And we got a lot more new stuff coming, so I'm, I'm really excited about it. There's a lot coming out, Connie's yeah. weekend. Yay! Yeah. Oh yeah, music-wise, 2018, we're gonna shut it down again. Thank you so much for sharing this time no, with thank us. You. Thank and you. Um, this show is, is kind of 
try to really portray the positive things about Africa Absolutely. and That's encourage good. young people to be able to invest in themselves despite the challenges and for you to share what of advice via this platform is amen so special thank no, you thank for you. having us and uh, we look forward to seeing you soon now you got it yeah check it out man it's your boy Akon and right now you got it logged on to the Miss P show do not change that mm -hmm. dial please I've had fun discovering who our young African talents are and looking up to what is going to be of Africa in the next couple of years and what Africa will mean to the world. I can't but let you go on a sweet and naughty note. As I say, goodbye to season three and see you forward on the next one.